What if the power to create high quality AI video wasn't locked behind expensive platforms? There's a brand new open source video generator that's not only free but incredibly fast. We're talking speeds that blow competitors out of the water. Intrigued? You should be. Let's explore this amazing video tool. It's called Axe Video, which is short for Accelerating Video Diffusion Model. What makes Axe Video stand out immediately is its incredible speed. The creators claim it's around 8.5 times faster than Hunyuan Video, which itself is already recognized as one of the top-tier, state-of-the-art video generation models available. This kind of speed makes Axe Video a potentially game-changing tool, especially if you're interested in running video generation locally on your own hardware without waiting ages for results. It achieves this remarkable speed through a novel and efficient architecture, which we'll break down in a bit. But first, let's look at what really matters the output quality. Seeing is believing, right? The team has released several demos and they look quite impressive. These examples are rendered at 1280 by 720 resolution and run at 24 frames per second, which is a standard frame rate for a smooth viewing experience. Here's a prompt they tested. A wide angle view of a dramatic cliffside overlooking the ocean, waves crashing against the rocks far below. The result is genuinely impressive. It generates a highly detailed scene with a sense of scale, and it even incorporates subtle camera movement, a slow pan slightly to the left, adding a cinematic feel. The detail in the rocks, the water, and the atmosphere is really well done. It's a great example of its ability to handle landscape shots effectively. Next up, something with more action. A snowboarder carves down a steep slope, their board cutting swiftly through the snow, powder sprays in all directions as they zigzag. Checking the output, it's excellent. The video accurately captures the dynamic movement described in the prompt. You clearly see the snow border, the steep slope, the board cutting through the snow, and importantly, the powder spraying realistically as they maneuver. It's a very solid generation that perfectly matches the prompt's description of energetic action. Then there's a more atmospheric and stylistic prompt. A retro 70s urban grid style scene shows a lone astronaut wandering through a desolate Martian landscape. The colors are muted and dusty with a worn down rugged spacesuit adding the gritty survivalist vibe as they search for signs of life against the backdrop of a blood red sky. The video generated from this is spot on. It successfully captures that specific retro, gritty aesthetic, nails the muted color palette, depicts the desolate Martian environment, and the astronaut's look fits the description perfectly. It's hard to find any fault here. It followed the complex stylistic and narrative instructions very accurately. Here's a more whimsical one. An astronaut riding a horse, high definition 4K. Simple prompt, but a fun concept. And indeed the output shows exactly that. An astronaut clearly depicted riding a horse. The model seems to handle these kinds of unusual juxtapositions quite well, delivering a clean and accurate result that implies that high definition quality requested. How about depicting specific skills or actions? The prompt was, an older man playing piano lit from the side, advertising style. The result shows an older gentleman at the piano, and the lighting definitely captures that moody, side-lit advertising style. While the overall generation is good and captures the mood, if you look closely, the finger movements on the keys might show slight inconsistencies or inaccuracies, which is still a common challenge for AI generating fine motor skills. But compositionally, it's quite effective. There were simpler ones too, like generating a birthday cake in the plate, which it handled without issue. Another interesting concept, a girl reading a book and the book is on fire. The generated video handles this surreal combination effectively, showing the girl and the burning book in what looks like a cohesive and well-rendered scene. Then there's this incredibly detailed nature prompt, a honeybee drifting between lavender blossoms, each wing beat slows to the gentle wave. Pollen particles floating in still air in super slow motion, even the bee's compound eyes shimmer, revealing detail normally invisible to the human eye. The result here is stunningly detailed. You get a beautiful close-up of the honeybee, precisely as described. The background is nicely blurred, keeping the focus sharp on the bee. You can see the fine details like the fur on its body, the structure of its compound eyes, and the texture of the flower really capturing that super slow motion, macro feel. The model also handles personification well. Take this prompt, a personified cat wearing a suit, walking on the street. The result is quite impressive and amusing. A cat, convincingly dressed in a suit, strolling down a street like a person. It integrates the clothing and the walking animation effectively onto the cat's form. Or this one focusing on expression, the monster stared at food with wide eyes and an open mouth. Its posture and expression conveys a sense of innocence and playfulness. The generated video delivers exactly that, 
a monster character looking at food with the specified wide-eyed, open-mouthed expression that successfully conveys that innocent and playful vibe. It shows a good grasp of translating emotional descriptors into visual representation. Here's another creative scenario. A panda in a scientist lab coat conducting experiments with beakers and test tubes. The video shows a panda, indeed wearing a lab coat in a setting filled with lab equipment like beakers and test tubes, appearing to be engaged in experiments. It's mostly successful, though it does exhibit a minor glitch you sometimes see in AI video. At one point, a test tube seems to partially merge or disappear into the panda's nose area during movement. It's a small flaw in an otherwise well-executed concept. How about combining characters with specific locations and times? A toy robot wearing purple overalls and cowboy boots taking a pleasant stroll in Johannesburg, South Africa during a beautiful sunset. The output shows a robot character matching the description with overalls and boots, walking in an environment that evokes Johannesburg, complete with a sunset sky. It successfully blends character design, action, and specific environmental cues. It handles human interaction too. A beautiful woman and a handsome man kissing in the rain, the resulting video follows the prompt perfectly, depicting the couple kissing amidst falling rain, even showing details like water realistically flowing down their faces. It captures the romantic mood and the environmental effect well. And now let's look at style imitation. A cute raccoon playing guitar in the park at sunrise, oil painting style. Here, the video shows the raccoon playing the guitar in the park setting at sunrise, as requested. However, while the prompt asked for an oil painting style, the result leans more towards a realistic rendering. It's a good generation of the scene itself, but it highlights that achieving specific artistic styles can sometimes be hit or miss, even if the content generation is strong. Take this next one, using a prompt reminiscent of the famous Sora demos. A stylish woman walks down a Tokyo street filled with warm glowing neon and animated city signage. She wears a black leather jacket, a long red dress and black boots, and carries a black purse. She wears sunglasses and red lipstick. She walks confidently and casually. The street is damp and reflective, creating a mirror effect of the colorful lights. Many pedestrians walk about. The resulting video is striking. The details are sharp, the atmosphere is captured well, and importantly, there are minimal visual artifacts. Notice how the background elements, like the other pedestrians, remain coherent. They don't warp unnaturally or vanish abruptly, which is a common challenge for AI video models. It's a very clean and detailed generation. Here's another example showcasing realism. An extreme close-up of a 60-something gray-haired man with a beard, thoughtfully gazing out of a window on a rainy day. He is wearing a jacket, detailed pores, realistic skin texture, the level of detail here is fantastic. The skin texture, the way the light hits his face, the subtle expression, it's incredibly lifelike. It's genuinely difficult to pinpoint obvious flaws in this generation. It holds up well even under close scrutiny. Now for a more complex scenario designed to test the model's understanding of action and emotion, a middle-aged, sad, bald man sits in a dimly lit room. Suddenly, a wig of curly brown hair and sunglasses fall onto his head from above. His expression instantly changes to happiness and surprise. You can see the distinct shift in the man's expression from sadness to surprise and happiness as the items land. Pay attention to the physics, too. The way the wig and sunglasses fall feels reasonably natural and accurate, which isn't always easy for AI to simulate correctly. The model also seems adept at generating non-human subjects in scene. Check out this clip of giant woolly mammoths treading through a snowy meadow. Their long woolly fur lightly blows in the wind as they walk, snow-covered trees and dramatic mountains in the distance. Again, the quality is high, capturing the texture of the fur and the snowy environment effectively. Or consider this one. A beautiful young woman with freckles smiles, then raises her left hand to cover her smiling mouth. Her eyes crinkle with genuine laughter. The realism here is undeniable. The expression feels authentic. There's a small inaccuracy, the hand she raises isn't actually her left hand, but the core action of covering her smiling mouth is depicted very convincingly. And look at this adorable scene. A litter of golden retriever puppies playing in the snow. It's just bursting with detail and realism, capturing the playful energy perfectly. Let's look at another prompt inspired by Sora. The camera follows behind a white vintage SUV with a black roof rack as it speeds up a steep dirt road surrounded by pine trees on a sunny day, dust kicking up from the tires. The overall scene is generated well, capturing the motion and the environment. One minor point, similar to what we often see in AI generations, is that the license plate on the SUV isn't legible text, just a blur or pattern. Here's a fun one. An adorable, happy otter confidently stands on a surfboard, riding a wave. It's wearing a yellow life jacket and sunglasses. The sun is setting over the ocean in the background. 
This is incredibly charming and the realism despite the fantastical scenario is quite high. The otter looks distinct, the water dynamics are plausible, and the accessories fit well. Finally, here's an example involving a human interacting with objects. A man with a beard and glasses is holding a bass guitar and standing in front of a microphone in a room. He appears to be speaking or singing passionately. The scene is rendered realistically. The man's pose, the microphone, which looks quite similar to a popular model like the Shure SM7B, and the room's ambiance all look good. There's a subtle inconsistency if you look closely at the bass guitar. It has four tuning pegs at the headstock, but there appear to be five strings running down the fretboard. This is a minor detail that most viewers probably wouldn't catch, but it highlights the kinds of subtle errors that can still creep in. However, the important parts, the straight strings, the accurate-looking frets, and the man's realistic singing or speaking action are all well executed. So, how does Axe Video manage to generate such high-quality videos while being so much faster than established models like Hunyuan Video? The core idea lies in how it's trained. It utilizes a technique based on learning from an existing pre-trained video diffusion model. These standard diffusion models, whether for images or videos, work progressively. They typically start with a pattern of random noise, and then, over many iterative steps, gradually refine that noise, removing it bit by bit, until the final clear image or video frame emerges. More steps usually mean better quality, but also significantly longer processing time. Axie Video takes a clever shortcut. Instead of painstakingly going through potentially hundreds or even thousands of these denoising steps like the original teacher model, it's trained to observe the entire process. It sees the initial noisy state and the final clean state generated by the teacher model after all its steps. Axie Video then learns to directly map the starting noise to the final result, essentially learning to jump from the beginning to the end, skipping most of the intermediate steps. This approach is formally called trajectory-based few-step guidance. It's like learning to drive directly from point A to point B after watching someone else take a longer, more winding route multiple times. To ensure the quality doesn't suffer too much from skipping these steps, they also employ a technique called an adversarial training strategy. This helps to fine-tune the output, making sure the generated videos closely match the high quality and visual style of the original, more complex teacher model. The really great news for anyone wanting to experiment with this is that Axe Video isn't just a research paper. The models are already available for you to try. You can find the links to download the model weights directly from their Hugging Face page. Furthermore, they've provided a comprehensive GitHub repository that contains all the necessary code and detailed instructions to get it installed and running locally on your own computer. Now, running powerful models like this locally does require reasonably capable hardware. Looking at their documentation, generating video, especially at higher resolutions, demands a good amount of GPU memory. Even with that hardware requirement in mind, the performance benchmarks they provide are quite eye-opening when comparing speed. Remember, generating a 720p video clip reportedly takes Hunyuan video over 3,000 seconds. That's more than 50 minutes. Whereas Xvideo accomplishes a similar task in just 380 seconds, around 6 minutes. That's a massive difference in waiting time that could significantly impact your workflow and make local generation much more feasible. So, while you need a solid GPU, the speed payoff is substantial. As always, all the essential links to the main project page, the Hugging Face repository for the models, and the GitHub code with setup instructions will be down in the description below, so you can check out the exact requirements and potentially try running it yourself.